Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pickleball and Politics, where I used to combine my quest to stay out of the kitchen with my passion for politics. And uh, I told you before, and I'll tell you again, there's not going to be a lot of pickleball between now and the election, just five months away. But um, I'll let you know if if I completely embarrass myself in any way, shape, or form out on the pickleball court. At least I'm not totally pathetic anymore. I have gotten just a smidgen better, and I'm going to be taking some lessons soon, so that will help. Okay, we are going to consistently now, the beginning of the month and the middle of the month, go over the poll numbers. So these are the beginning of June numbers, all taken after the verdict last week. Okay, so these are fresh numbers. Have the... um, Pulse has been able to completely work the verdict last week of guilt into these. Uh, I'm going to assume they have. So we are going to start with the national from Forbes. The national poll still has Trump up by two over Biden. Okay. You know, we have to look at those swing states because that's where it all is going to occur. And according to real clear politics, these are their averages in Wisconsin, Trump is up by 0.1. Oh, okay. So that's statistically, I would say, a tie, but he is a little bit ahead of Biden. You know, with Wisconsin, that's been going back and forth. So Trump is slightly ahead. Arizona, Trump is up by four percentage points. In Georgia, it's 4.8 up for Trump. In Michigan, it's a half a point up for Trump. In Pennsylvania, Trump is up by 2.3 points. In North Carolina, Trump has come down a smidgen to 4.8%. And in Nevada, where Trump has his biggest lead of all of the swing states, he's at 5.8%. Now, the direction of the country, that is such an indicator of how people will want change. Right now, still, 24% believe we are in the right direction, and 66% believe we are in the wrong track. We are going in the wrong track, and uh, that shouldn't surprise anyone. Now, Trump, coming off of his conviction last week, has had a record month. He had $53 $53 million were raised in 24 hours after the verdict, and in May, a total of $141 million were raised, and a huge percentage of that money was by people who had never, ever, ever given to him before. So fresh money, uh, maybe some people feeling like he's been wrongfully convicted Now, Trump this week on June 6th is going to have a town hall meeting in Maricopa County. Wow, there's a lot of stuff went on in Maricopa County, and um, that is going to be on June 6th, a Trump town hall. So you know where to get me. You can reach me on Instagram or Getter at Pickleball and Politics. You can reach me on X at Pickle and Paul, or you can leave me a message right here on my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking, okay? Tell me what you're thinking, what you think of these polls. Um, It should be interesting. This race will tighten up. And then remember, uh, we have at the end of the month, we have the first debate. All right, I'll see you again soon on Pickleball and Politics.